So guys, when you showcase 1971 pennies or new pens or two pens, new two pens, please make sure first to find out is a more real market value, not inflated values. I will show you why what makes this 1971 penny so valuable, but it is a rather exception, and it happens maybe one in a million times because not all pennies are valuable not all new pens are valuable they're just they used to be just pocket chains and they were struck in abundance what makes this penny worse how, how much it was worse let me just duplicate it okay so it was sold for over thousand dollars fifteen hundred dollars uh, on february last year so there's nothing special about it just bronze coin with diameter of 25.91 millimeters weight 7.12 grams and mintage is massive massive i mean i mean it's 1.4 billion how this coin can be valuable if not the reverse you see you will see that it has quite different reverse it's there is foreign object here as you can see so if it had only new pens or two pens let's show you so when you have just two pens coin or new pens coin like this this is worth nothing just circulated specimen maybe few cents or worth few cents more than its face value but this one on the screen is when you, what you see to the right this is valuable due to its error it's a mint error coin with foreign object imprinted to it now i will read information about this coin So this is Elizabeth II mint error coin, two pence, 1971, graded MS64 brown by NGC. So reverse side of this coin was struck through washer. Uh, it's not indicated that it was intentional or unintentional mint slip up, but somehow it was struck through the washer, this yellow golden washer and it perfectly fitting the design due to sharp impression and strike was so strong that it almost featuring sharp sharp device motifs even on the washer device elements with slight different toning therefore therefore this coin is so valuable and for those who doubt that you can check for yourself this takes a serial number and go to ngc website and look for the serial number you will find out this rarity modern rarity and by the way i also i should repeat that it was sold for fifteen hundred dollars on february 23rd 2023 so there is sometimes there are exceptions when two pence coins or new pence coins sell for big money but it sh they should have some major errors to attain that value okay let's go Let me fast make it fast showcasing in a fast order these coins. So this is ten pence. Sorry. 
So this 10 pens, as you can see, it has quite different reverse design. I think it is from the shield of England or coat of arms of England. This is a part of it, not full part. You see it's not con no continuation here. And circle beaded, its beads are not in circle as they used to be in other previous, uh, like in two pens or other coins. They are in, in a square for, format. So this is very nice specimen with lustres, with some luster on selected areas, but also some fadiness. I should have brought my toothpick. I forgot again. The date is 2013. Relatively modern coin with, but as you can see, it's not that, not in perfect condition. Let's go to other coin. This one I showed before. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. This one is, I don't see the date here. You see there, it has a lot of scratches on a verse. These crisscrossing scratches. Somebody like scratched it intentionally on the facial part. Or maybe it's some not human factor, something, some metal element touched it this way and this is from Canada 5 cents 1976 as we read before it's purely nickel content so your most lovely British coin of most of you. When we put two pence coins, we get always good views because almost all people from Commonwealth countries love this coin. 1971, two pence, two new pence with new. Uh, added to front side of pens for not uh, confusing the previous pens coin they used to have to other pens before uh, decimalization of British coinage I think it was in 1970s and this is from 1971 uh, actually, this one is also 1971. We showed in picture. You see, they almost have the same brown toning. Ours has one patination here, uh, one scar, scar. Uh, sorry, contact mark. It's a little bit worn on high points so new pens let's see do you have these coins in your possession or collection let us know in comment section and inform us if you if yours are have been graded professionally by some companies, third companies like PCGS or NGC. This is 1996. Ten pence. 
this beautiful design one of my favorites a lion a moving lion stepping forward i think it's english uh, symbol with a crown lion with crown the circulated coin is in a braided and slightly worn condition just slight touch of wear on high points but overall appealing is satisfactory what else we have here this pretty relatively modern coin 2002 you see the poor the older depiction of Queen Elizabeth, late Queen Elizabeth II. This is her for, fourth and last portrait in British and Canadian and other Commonwealth countries coinage. This is called fourth portrait. I'm not sure, but I think here depiction in this depiction she's at her 80s, but I couldn't be mistaken. So edge is milled. So another lion, a ten pence. Also abrasions and small contact marks. Okay, and now here we have the third portrait third portrait of crowned Queen Elizabeth II this is 1994 bronze oh not bronze I think it is a uh, copper plated steel yeah I think it's copper plated steel but you see we have a pretty obvious red luster mint luster on selected areas they become reflective when we tilt the coin but most areas faded due to contact with air and improper preservation we have some patination here or stain but it very much looks like a carbon spot. So this is from other country, Commonwealth Island country. Sorry. 